We are going to talk about the same thing as in our column, some troubleshooting of some problems. How a good way to go about fixing a problem. I'm going to use as an example a problem that I ran into a few days ago that we mentioned in our column. So it was a problem, and this can be applied to like any program, okay? So it was a problem with this program compressor, which is part of Final Cut Studio that we use to make our videos. So I had a video that I had here that I was trying to uh, compress. Uh, I came over to the monitor and it would freeze up. First step that I want to do, if a program isn't working right, always just quit out of it. Quit. Um, I don't need to save that. Open it back up. Okay, it's back and I would want to uh, try the same thing again. And in this case, it didn't. It kept freezing again. At that point, I'd be like, okay, shut down the whole computer, quit out my applications, shut down, restart, open it up again, try again. Sometimes I'll fix. I tried a couple different other things. Uh, I figured, well, maybe it's just this particular file of video that I'm trying to compress can't handle it or something. So I might, uh, and in this case, it was an hour and 15 minute long video that I was trying to compress. So I, th I figured, well, that, that's a lot. Maybe it's just not handling it. So I tried a two minute video, see if I could press that, it didn't work. Then I knew, okay, won't do a two minute video, it's just not gonna do any video. I don't have too many more ideas. Uh, tried a couple different settings in compressor, Maybe it's just that particular setting that I was trying to compress didn't work. Tried a couple others. And this can be applied to other applications uh, that you might be working in. Like, try to do whatever you're trying to do in a different way. Um, you know, if you're trying to do something new in the program that you haven't done before, um, but there's a way that you do it normally, try it the normal way first. See if it works then. In this case, th there was nothing in my knowledge of a uh, compressor that I knew how to fix it. So, came over to the trusty internet. Open up a new window, brings back over here. Um, brings up lovely Google. It's my home page. Um, Got to type in uh, a few keywords that'll help us solve this problem. Uh, Google that. The very first hit that we get is a forum. Okay, it's the forums at creativecow.net, which I know happens to be a pretty legit Final Cut Studio um, this database of, with information. So uh, that would definitely be one that I check. Open up this forum. Usually, the first post on this will be someone who has a problem, and after that, you're going to have uh, responses from hopefully people that are experts in the program, know it really well, who have seen the problem before. And here it is: the first post on this, someone that had the same problem. Here's a link to another part of the forum um, with the answer, which worked. So I'll follow that link. Here we go. It wants me to delete these two files, which apparently are kind of a history. This is this folder that I brought up is within the system files. These are not files that you usually want to mess with. Now I, I did that. I deleted those, restarted my computer. Um, well, it cleared out the history on compressor first, restarted, and uh, that actually worked for me. Um, this was the the very first hit for my keywords, Apple Compressor Stuck on Processing, the very first hit for the Creative Cow forums had the answer. Totally fixed my problem. I would have never been able to figure out on my own that I had to go into the system files and delete those two folders. You're probably wondering, oh, this, this problem is so specific. You know, how does that help me when I have a problem in iTunes? The same methods apply to any program where you're working with iTunes, preferences. You've got tons of options. Uh, under all these and just about any problem that you ever have with iTunes is solved right in here. That's the process. Use the internet wisely um, and you should be good to go practice good Google searching with specific terms. Thanks for sticking with us. We're signing off now. Sorry we're not going to have a website or anything because that already took so long to explain. We like to keep our videos under four minutes. But next week we're going to have an awesome minutes. topic and it's going to be an awesome video. So look forward to it. If you hit that subscribe button up in the uh, left handish corner. Top right. Top right. right over I'm really it's, bad at my... It might be that way. I think this yeah, this means whatever. Yeah.